you own a gun that looks like this, you need to learn how to manually decock the hammer. When this gun is cocked, there's absolutely no way to make it safe because you cannot remove the cylinder without first discharging the firearm or manually decocking the hammer. By far the most common method of doing that is to pull the trigger all the way to the rear and then slowly release the hammer. The problem with that is, if you can see, the firing pin's actually protruding through the frame. When you do it that way, there is a potential that if your hand slips, you can cause the firearm to discharge. The other method I like to teach that's a little bit safer is to pull the trigger, release the hammer slightly, release the trigger, and then release the hammer the rest of the way. And you'll see there's no protrusion of the firing pin through the frame. There's no chance of an accidental discharge there. That method of decocking applies to most hammer-fired guns out there. For example, on this 1911, if I pull the trigger, release the hammer slightly, release the trigger, and then release the hammer the rest of the way, you'll see that it throws me into half cock. And of course, half cock was the original safety for centuries. So thank you for watching.